My name is Darren and I'm on a mission to find the best food destinations. From fine dining to dinner at a friend's, I believe that food shouldn't end at the table. And I'm here to showcase everything that goes into the food I eat. Along the way, I've met spectacular people with vibrant stories that I'm excited to share. Today, I'm at the Frying Pan, a food truck that serves some of the tastiest, juiciest Nashville-styled fried chicken burger in town, and also one of my favorites on their menu, their bulgogi fries. So I hopped on their food truck to go behind the scenes and learn more about their food. Opened back in mid-2017, the Frying Pan has now become a destination lunch spot right in downtown Vancouver, with weekend visits to various farmers markets. They serve chicken that is antibiotic-free, free-range, hormone-free, and free of animal byproducts. Basically, everything good that you could have in chicken is there. The menu was created fully by Chef Jacob, who has extensive culinary experience with the hopes of opening his own restaurant in the future to serve Korean food. Prep happens in a kitchen far, far away. Okay, not so far away. Anyways, here is where all the magic happens. Ingredient prep, sauce, bulgogi and chicken marination that I didn't show, and, you know, getting everything, and I mean everything, uh, ready for service. Once at the location, the team sets up for lunchtime where hungry diners make their way over for delicious burgers. You know, I believe that food that is the simplest is usually the tastiest. For their fried chicken burger, they bring out battered chicken that is marinated and then coated in flour before getting double fried, something that makes chicken super crunchy on the outside. While that's cooking, buns are toasted over a stovetop where butter is added, so you just end up with these delicious, rich buns that, well, let's be honest, you could eat them all alone. Um, or you could eat them alone. And eat them all alone. Uh, <laughs> Finally, buns are taken off, their special house mayonnaise is added, and then a quick assembly of bun, sauce, pickles, um, <laughs> chicken, slaw, lettuce, I don't know, they do this more than me, uh, and bun, before it's carefully wrapped and put into its own container. The best part? Every order comes with a free smile. My other favorite dish is their bulgogi fries, and they're simple and delicious, and also just simply delicious. Fries, super crispy yet soft on the inside, topped with cheese, bulgogi, some more cheese, some chopped green onions to garnish, and some house mayo, and finally, a little bit of sour cream on the side. Man, these are so good that they sell out super fast. Actually, it's really rare that I can get my hands on them because they're usually just sold out by the time I get there. And they are so packed with flavor. Bulgogi is just super tender and the sour cream helps cut out some of all that richness and introduces a new taste into that mix. Honestly, before I asked to film here, I went for lunch all the time because it was just so darn good. And I've been on a mission to have everything on their menu, which I've now succeeded in doing. A new favorite treat that I've recently had is their deep fried tofu, which you can add to your bowls or like me, I just had it with a rice bowl. And what makes this so good is the crispy exterior and the soft interior of the tofu. It brings like really interesting textures. And then you have the teriyaki sauce, which is just poured over and it just sings. And I mean sings, sings right through the tofu. Literally, it is so good. And now here's a little snippet of me eating outside. The contrast is terrible, but what can you do? Today I'm at the frying pan uh, where I have the spicy burger uh, in front of me. And I actually joined the team <laughs> the entire day. Um, and they went out to Kitsilano Farmer's Market. Yeah, Kitsilano's uh, Farmer's Market. And so I was inside the truck just kind of watching um, everything as lunch hour started uh, and everything from their delicious tofu rice bowls to bulgogi fries and obviously you know their classic their uh, chicken burger um, I'm just gonna eat now And my favorite thing about the burgers here is that the chicken is super juicy. Even though that they're using chicken breast, really juicy, 
there's a lot of crunch to it as well. They have a little bit of, you know, some mayo in here with uh, some slaw and then pickles underneath. And that's really all you, all you need uh, for this burger. It's just so good. Um, I frequently get this during my lunch breaks and my favorite add-on to this are the bulgogi fries or uh, fries on their own. So, yeah. <laughs> mm. And the buns are nicely toasted on the grill. And so what you see is a bunch of butter that's thrown onto the grill and then the buns soak it all up. So you end up with crispy buns that are just so flavorful, super rich. and it. And you know, when you're eating this burger, it's really a cheat day. It's not the healthiest thing, but sure is delicious. Um, incredible lunch for any day of the week. I really wanted to try something new with this video and I'm happy I did. I actually really enjoyed doing commentary and having all of that B-roll. Um, let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. And until then, or until my next video release, I will see you soon. Bye.